Hello friends, welcome back to the channel. I've got a combo farm for you today. It's going to be best to run this one on a tune with skinning, as there is going to be quite a bit of bonus gold available skinning hyenas. However, our gold making possibilities don't end there, as there are also a couple of smutmog transmog pieces that we'll be after. If you're a transmog hater, do know that these ones sell pretty well. The instance we'll be farming is Dire Mall North which is located in Kalimdor, in the zone Feralis. The entrance is easy to find as it's located in the northernmost location of the Dire Mall complex. Full clears take about 10 minutes. However, if you're running this on a druid, stay tuned for an experiment I run leveraging a macro and a druid ability to shave as much as one minute off of each run. I notice short speed boosts up to 310% and I'm curious if any of you know how to fully take advantage of the technique. We'll get more into that later. For now, let's run through the route I take to round up the mobs in each area. In the first two areas, you'll want to make a full loop and then head into the central area. Gather up all those mobs and then burn them all down. I do recommend killing the hyenas as separately as possible to make skinning them easier. It could just be me, but there's some sort of bug with Gorduk's shackle key where you may end up with a mob with loot that you can't loot, which makes it very difficult to skin the mobs below it. The flames on the map mark the spot you'll be burning down the mobs for each area. The rest of the instance is pretty straightforward. Just drag all of the mobs to the top of the stairs, right before the door, which is where you'll want to burn them down. You'll then go through the door and aggro all of the mobs on your way over to the two bosses. You can hide behind the pillar here to get the casters to group up with the rest of the mobs. I mentioned earlier that there were two smutmog pieces we were after, which are pictured here. I'm not a fan of the rage claw leggings, but the saltstone surcoat is bussin'. It goes perfectly with my purple judgment set. Both items sell very well for transmog items, but that's the case for most smutmog pieces. Let's wrap up this run, check out our results, and then take a look at that speed boost macro I was talking about earlier. This instance is perfect for the dream walk ability as you'll be dumped directly outside of the entrance. So if you're on a druid, make sure you're using it. You'll basically just use your dream walk ability from within the instance once you've finished your run and then use it once more to return. You can then reset the instance and run it again. If you do run this with a skinner, you'll be getting thick leather, heavy leather, heavy hide, and thick hide. Those of you who have run Dire Maul in the past and are familiar with tribute runs, you're really going to want to kill all the mobs, so don't expect anything worthwhile to drop in the tribute chest. If you want to see what a tribute run is all about, I've linked a guide in the description of this video. A little over 19k in loot in less than 10 minutes, which is not bad at all. The nice thing about this farm is that it's not all transmog items. Skinners will end up with a decent amount of leather, and there are happy rocks that drop in this instance, which sell really well. Now let's chat about that speed boost macro a little bit. While testing, I was able to shave almost a minute off of my run times by using the following macro. The macro just switches me from cat to bear form, or from bear to cat form. Whenever I switch from cat to bear, I trigger an ability called Tireless Pursuit, which gives me a 40% speed boost for three seconds. As you can see, my speed in cat form is 161%. 100% represents your speed on foot without any speed buffs. In bear form, my speed is 131%. Although, if I just switched from cat form for three seconds, my speed is actually 171%. If I switch back to cat form while tireless pursuit is still up, I can momentarily move at 201%. Unfortunately, most of the abilities are on global cooldown, so the boost in speed is pretty short. Stacking haste could help though. If I use tiger dash while tireless pursuit is up, in cat form, I can get up to 401%, which is pretty fast. With Stampeding Roar and Tireless Pursuit both active, I can hit 261% movement speed in cat form. 
While all of the speed boosts are pretty short-lived, they do all add up over time. I do think that a more sophisticated macro might be able to squeeze even more out of this strat. What do you guys think? Is it worth trying to keep Tireless Pursuit up as much as possible? Let me know if this is something you've already been using, or if you've got a better way to utilize it. Good luck if you decide to give this farm a try. And, as always, please like and subscribe if you're digging what I'm doing here. Have a good one, my friends.